Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another World of Warcraft video. Uh, in this video, we're kind of going to be covering Frost Mage, talents to take, rotation, general things that is just things to cover, I guess. Uh, don't take this as like BlizzCon advice. Uh, take it as the best, worst player of advice that you'll ever get. So, uh, Ice Nova. It's pretty much the best here. The other competitor is Lonely Winter, but Lonely Winter, you won't have a pet. Which means he won't be using his one ability, and then you also get uh, a snare. And there's bone chilling. I think people take bone chilling in PvE, but I don't know. I've never ever really used that in PvP. Uh, Shimmer is my go-to here. I don't use anything else. Other than that, you could try using uh, ice flows, and then glacial insulation wouldn't be bad against like very very high melee damage teams. But uh, that's that's all. Like, it just gives you armor, that's all it really does. Uh, Encanter's Flow is usually the best here. Rune of Power, you're not going to be able to stand still enough to be able to, like, get that full effect off, so that's why I'd suggest not taking that. Uh, general playstyle advice, just go on the person that's usually deepest in your team. Because, uh, I don't know. You can usually go on healers, too. That's a good idea, because you are a caster, and you should probably do that. But the, the plan is... Don't play at such a close range that you're getting focused, like I was, but then just stay out of range. And again, focus healers if you can. That's kind of shitty use of cooldowns, but I'm gonna use Ray Frost here. And Ray Frost is my go-to talent for the bottom row. I just like it the most. Uh, I shouldn't have, you know, interrupted my own cast. I thought I had counter spell. I should definitely have a tracker for that, but I don't. Good spell steal then. But then half of my mana goes away. There's a bubble. Now we're going to warrior. That Comet Storm is horrible. You're supposed to uh, Comet Storm and then Ice Nova, so it kind of traps them in it, but... Um, I'm probably really dead here. Which which is outstanding, because then I have more time to talk about towns and whatnot. Either the warrior's going on me. Awesome. Yeah, I'll just die to dots. Okay, back to towns. Uh, Encanter's Flow, Mirror Image, it's like, if you just want to have fun, then go for it, use that. Uh, Frozen Touch is my go-to here, I just like that it generates more procs, 20% more often. Uh, in Arena, I see people take Ebon Volt because it does a ton of damage and also grants you a Brain Freeze. Um, PvE, you take Chain Reaction, from what I know. Uh, Frigid Winds is usually what people take here just because it makes your slows slow for a ridiculous amount. Uh, 65% is like... A negative mount speed, like negative minimum mount speed, which is, uh, no, no, just a comparison. Okay. Lust and Burst. It's a great name. Oh, man. Okay. At least I got that off. As long as he doesn't purge it. Okay. Well, he purged it, but I still got all the health back. I'm not sure if this will all crit, because, oh, man, I'm dead. Fuck your lightning lasso. That shit's stupid. Give me your armor, please. There we go. I'm, I'm still dead. Let's go over town to get... <laughs> uh, so Frigid Winds is the best because it slows the most. Ice Wards is okay if you just want two Frost Novas for some reason. Um, Ring of Frost is usually used for Arena, from what I know. Uh, especially in other specs, but... Uh, pretty much you can throw this down after a polymorph or, you know, just outside of any other kind of crowd control from your teammates and it just freezes them. Uh, Comet Storm is usually what I take here. Splitting Ice can be good in, like, RBGs, but, uh, most of the time I just take Comet Storm. Um, Freezing Rain has the potential to be good, uh, if it got buffed to, like, 100%. However, 50% really doesn't make it worth, in my opinion, so I never really take it. Um... Ray of Frost is my go-to for the bottom row. Other than that, you're going to be taking Glacial Spike. Uh, if you're going in, like, a rated battleground and not an arena, you could try taking Thermal Void, but most of the time in arena, your Icy Veins is going to get uh, purged from you if the Shaman kind of knows what he's doing. So uh, I'd kind of stay away from that unless you're in a rated battleground. And if you're in a rated battleground, then, then go for it. It's probably really good. Um, I haven't done RBGs in forever, so I wouldn't actually know. But uh, I'm just guessing. And Ray of Frost is like, it's, I don't know, it's one of my favorite abilities ever since, I don't know, new ability, I guess, but, uh, definitely really nice. And then Glacial Spike's good if you just want really long cast times. It pretty much gives you a Chaos Bolt, uh, in my opinion. It pretty much gives you a Chaos Bolt. 
So, uh, that's something to think about. We'll go in this alley. I'm just gonna use all of these trucks. We'll go on the arcane, actually. I don't want him really free casting, so... Makes sense to kind of attack him. Uh, going over Honor Towns, by the way, which is kind of what makes Frost so good. Uh, the main one here is Deep Shatter, in my opinion. Your Frostbolt deals 150% additional damage to Frozen Targets. Uh, frozen Targets happens a lot. Uh, whether it's just you kind of using Blizzard or, you know, Frozen Orb or just casting Frostbolt or whatever it may be. Even your pet freeze, which I don't have bound to a macro, which you probably should. Um, so Deep Shatter is really good. Uh, temporal Shield just for the heal. It's like your one heal pretty much that you'll ever get. And Frostbite just because it also gives your chill effects to slow, which is like kind of the whole build behind this. Uh, talents outside of that. Kleptomania is really good for Resto Druids. Uh, and there's certain defensive abilities or talents like Netherwind Armor, which would be really good against high crit people like rogues or something. Like a... Assassination Rogue, uh, Ice Form, good against people who have stuns, say an Elemental Shaman, who will Lightning Lasso, which counts as a stun, so you can use this to counter that. Um, Burst of Cold, I like it just to play around with it. It has potential, I think, but I don't think it's like to the point where it's actually worth taking over other things. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Dampen Magic's good against Affliction Lux. Prismatic Cloak is also good against casters, like Boomkins, because you can always just blink a Star Surge, and that's about... A lot of their damage negated uh, whenever that happens. And, uh, yeah, I guess we can go into, you know, actual gameplay now. Every time you get a proc, you want to use it as fast as possible. You really don't want to stack procs that much. Uh, when it comes to interrupting abilities, I always kind of wait for the last second of the cast to interrupt it, because the first few seconds of the cast are uh, able to, I don't know, they're, they're forgiving. Uh, if you spend 0.5 seconds trying to cast, it's going to be a lot better than getting to the very end of a cast bar and then someone interrupting it before. And Versus, like, at the beginning of a cast where you can just easily juke them and then their kick's gone and then you can free cast. So that's kind of why I always wait for the very end of a cast. And uh, just general, I guess, kind of advice right there. But And, again, the play style is just... Really, Frostbolt has a lot of damage. Uh, this is mainly because of the build I'm taking. It just makes Frostbolt hit like a truck. Um, Deep Shatter, Frostbite, I'd say is the main thing, and then I just take Temporal Shield because I find that I can't really play Frost Mage without it. Uh, Frozen Orb, something to consider when you're playing, is really good. It slows. Um, it doesn't grant an instant Blizzard anymore, but I thought that was really nice because it gave you pretty good uh, AoE damage. Uh, you want a pet macro for your Frostbolt, and in, a, in my opinion, you want one. You can also have a pet macro, and when I say pet macro, I mean, like, um, if you go into here, slash cast whatever spell you want, and then slash pet attack, and then that'll make your pet hit whoever you're hitting, and you can bind that to any spell you really want, so if I really wanted to, I could have all these offensive spells be, uh, the same thing as this, but that's a lot of macros, which are pretty unnecessary, so that's why I don't do that. Uh, I should have invised here, that would have been genius, but, uh, okay. Good counterspell, though. There's a Pyro. We'll just do this. Do I have Arcane Brilliance? I do not. Should I maybe use that? Nice. I just interrupted nothing, just like him. I knew this would happen. Give me that spell shield. Thank you. Why are you just using the Scorch? That's my question. Uh, Frost will hit for 9,000 there. That's the main reason I take this kind of build, by the way. He has to be dead. This guy will probably kill me. But I have a plan. That That's it? Okay. Well, I'm not dealing with that anymore. Um, I really fucked it over with the mage right there. So don't take that as an example as how to play as mage at all. But I, I kind of got myself out of it. And there's the music. I think it only triggers when you go through the main doorways, which is uh, odd. And again, Ice Nova and Comet Storm, they're pretty much used together. I don't think I ever used them apart. Ice Nova can be used for a snare in, like, very 
bad situations, but most of the time you'll just have it on you most... Like, most of the time if you don't... For some reason, if you don't have Arcane Brilliance on you like I did, uh, it's most of the time because you just spawned or, or you're just retarded. Uh, also a good option is just spell steal it. I'm just gonna run away from this guy. Shadow Priest kind of shit on mages, so that's why. And again, all you cooldowns here. He's in the middle of the river, so okay, leaps out of it. And here's the damage. Ray of Frost. Then we'll get two more procs. He's still dead. Run. Oh my god, where'd you get your health from? Well, it's nice knowing you. I love Fury Warriors. And like that, a lot of his health is gone. You always want to follow a flurry with a ice lance as well. I always forget to do that, and people have mentioned it. Uh, I always think I do, but apparently I don't. So, yeah. And one of the main reasons... Oh, wow. Uh, Azerite traits. <laughs> noticed, noticed notable damage from Azerite trait. Figured I should probably cover those in the last three minutes of the battle run. Um, Flurry has a 20%... 20% chance to call down a comet, dealing extra frost damage. Uh, whenever you use Flurry, which is pretty often, uh, in this battleground I've used Flurry. Let's take a look. Total. Maybe 10 times, which is actually pretty low. But, uh, you know, over time it'll add up. But anyway, it does a ton of damage if it procs. Pretty much those two hit for 15,000 each. And then this one's just increased Frostbolt damage. The Frostbolt one can be really good. Like, you could just probably train someone forever, and you would uh, do pretty good damage. I don't know. Okay, that one's going to play. If you just train someone with three of those Frostbolt talents, it would probably be really good. But, uh, good luck. Good luck getting three of those traits, because that will be a sight. I am dead. Can I run to my body? Awesome. Well, that's shitty. I'm gonna try to just kill everyone here. And not play the objective, because there's two minutes left. But anyway, Azerite traits, those are the ones I take. You can really take any one, any Azerite trait, as long as... Just look at, like, what it does. If it seems like it's not good, then don't take it, obviously. But if it seems like it's good, then just take it. Uh, beggars can't be choosers when it comes to Azerite traits, in my opinion. Uh, that's because I just don't main one tune enough to farm out those pieces of gear, but thank god they made it so if I spam mythics forever, I can get one piece of gear. So I'm really looking forward to that whenever I do mythics, uh, never from now. So, that'll be pretty, pretty great. We use Ray of Frost on this guy, just notice his health going away. Good job, you broke the one CC on me. We'll use our kind of combo on that guy. I don't... Okay, we killed their flag guy somehow. If you don't know the rotation by now, it's literally just cast Frostbolt and Ice Lance and Flurry. Uh, so there's like two rotations. Very simplified. You, you're spamming Frostbolt because you have no procs. And whenever you get Ice Lance procs, you just use those immediately. The other scenario is when you're spamming Frostbolt and you suddenly get a Flurry proc. Whenever you get that Flurry proc, you're going to want to cast up another Frostbolt. Follow it with a Flurry and then follow that with a nice lance, and that will pretty much chunk people for a lot of their health. Uh, another thing is obviously Comet Storm and Ice Nova, which will do, I'd say, about 20,000 of their health, and, uh, yeah, it's pretty much rotation. Doesn't... it's, it's pretty simple, especially with this build. Like, if they're frozen, your Frostbolts just hit, like, trunks. Uh, right now, the average hit for my Frostbolt for this battleground is 5,000 which is a lot more than the baseline, which I'll look. Baseline Frostbolt is, uh, 3,000. So pretty good. And again, I screwed up there. Whenever you have a Flurry and an Ice Lance proc, you want to use your Ice Lance proc before you throw your Flurry out and your Ice Bolt out there. And that's because if you use an Ice Lance proc after you throw a Flurry out, it pretty much negates the whole purpose of the Flurry, because half the reason you use a Flurry is to make it so your Ice Lance crits the target for a high amount of damage. So, uh, yeah. Just be sure to do that. I've, I just did it there, so... That's why I was kind of ashamed. Um, I think I'm gonna polymorph this guy for once in my life. Just kidding, the battleground's over. Uh, if you guys like that battleground, or battleground explained, 
thumbs up, subscribe, comment, description, bell thing. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.